She was a mother, a mentor, and an advocate against gun violence, and police say she was killed by her ex-boyfriend. Tonight, people who knew Shalinda Gordon spoke to News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall about her outreach work, and Brandon, they also have a message about domestic violence. Yes, Carrie, Gordon's niece says her aunt never talked about possible domestic violence situations with her ex-boyfriend. She tells me if anyone is experiencing abuse, ask for help. Pink balloons and candles remain outside the Hermitage home of Shalinda Gordon. It was here the 42 year old who stood up against gun violence was shot and killed by her ex-boyfriend. Last Sunday, Gordon came home after picking up dinner for her young daughter and grandson. 39 year old Jermaine Bailey was also there unexpectedly. Police say he shot Gordon in the chest, then himself in the head. Nobody thought that man would ever do something like that to her, but we didn't we didn't know. Katina Johnson says her aunt had a restraining order against Bailey and never saw signs pointing to domestic violence. Anybody is being victimized. If you have somebody calling your phone a little bit too many times, they popping up, just coming unannounced. That's signs to definitely pay attention to. Johnson says after Gordon lost two sons to gun violence, she dedicated her life pushing for teens to put down the guns. She would do anything for anybody. If you needed any advice, if you're going through some things, she would be the number one person to call. She's been a great role model in my life, a great mother figure. She was a dear friend. She was, she was nice, she was humble, she always kept a smile on her face. News of Gordon's death devastated youth outreach organizers like Robert Sherrill. As a father who has five children, five girls, you know, my, my biggest fear is that, um, that something like this could possibly happen. Tomorrow night at the lab on Jefferson Street, he invites the community to attend a memorial for Gordon. You could grow bitter from losing two sons uh, just years apart from each other from gun violence, but um, she took that instead of becoming bitter, she, she used it as strength and courage to move on and make a commitment to the young kids. Both Cheryl and Johnson are trying to push past their pain and keep Gordon's memory alive. The memorial starts at 630 tomorrow evening. Bailey remains hospitalized from his injuries and is expected to be arrested on a murder charge once released. Gordon will be laid to rest on Saturday. Carrie.